Yo, what's up guys? It's Robin here and this video I'm gonna be talking about um, it's gonna be an in-depth guide on the website tactics.tools basically this website um, is a website that shows you data for everything like almost everything in TFT um, you know comp stats, unit stats, augment stats and um, stats don't lie so it's you can use this website to kind of tell which augments are better than others um, which comps are better um, are better in, in the uh, meta which what's BIS items on every unit generally it's a really really helpful website to help you make pr proper decisions and climb in uh, solo queue I think most people know tactics.tools, they know how to check the augments, but there's actually way more in this website than, than people know. So I'll be going over like every single thing that I personally use and you guys can go to the website and kind of just like browse around. First off, we're in the home page right here. First thing I'm going to talk about is the augment page. Most of the people know about the augment page. You go to stats and you go to augments here. And then um, over here, you want to set it to whatever your, your, your elo is, I think. If you're a diamond, you can set it to diamond plus. But if you want to know like stats from good, the best players, I like to put it on GM plus. Over here is the patch that you want to set it on. Um, right now we're in 12.19B, but there's not enough sample size for 12.19B. So I'm going to go ahead and put it at 12.19, more sample size. Okay, so here basically shows you every single augment in the game, silver, gold, and prismatic, and the different, different stats for it. The important stats that you want to look at though is going to be these three right here. This is basically the average placement of the augment at 2-1 at 3-2 and at 4-2. Let's say you're at 2-1 and you don't know which uh, which um, augment to pick between the three. You can, you can I like to sort 2-1 by uh, average placement from low, um, from the lowest to highest. So obviously looking here, you you know um, Scoped Weapons 2 has a 3.49. So you know Scoped Weapons is broken. Like next time like you see Scoped Weapons, you can just like auto take it probably with the correct items and you just play like, right here it says Yone. Like you probably just play Scoped Weapons Yone or, or, or Orloff, right? Um, think fast is also really good. 3.63. Think fast, you probably just think fast into an astral. But basically, this gives you like a, a general um, idea of what augments are good. Like, let's say your your options are guild crest. This is like especially helpful for newer players, right? Like, let's say your your options are guild crest and like heroic presence and like eye of the storm or something, right? And you don't even know what to get. Like, maybe you read eye of the storm, you're like, oh my god, this sounds so op, whatever. But then in reality, like guild crest is a uh, is a 3.81. It's way, 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 way more broken. So I, I would just take Guild Crest. I would say anything below 4.0 is like busted. Um, so anything below 4.0, you do probably want to just like auto take it. You still have to look at your items and units. So we can go down. We can we can sort this by like highest to lowest. So these ones you probably just never take. Like Cavalier Unity, Whisper Heart, Evoker Heart, Rage Wing Soul, Battle Mage 3, Eternal Protection. Like all these like below 5.0, you probably just never take. Because obviously they're like, they average a 5. Uh, if they average a five, it's probably not as good, right? Um, you can also go to three two. You know, the three two and four two augment average placement augments. They're totally different when you're picking your second augment sorted by three two. As you can see, like a, a lot of the top ones are gone, and then ones such as like dark flight crown, skill scroll crown, super good if you're playing into those comps. Beast den is like really really good if you're playing around shapeshifters uh, with attack speed. Um, double trouble three. You know, super usually super good at th um at, at three two as well. Turns out Dragon Soul is super good at three two as well. Sort three two by uh highest to lowest. Evoker Heart, Raging Heart, Evoker Crown. These are like really bad. Cutthroat. It's like okay if you're playing Sins, I guess, but like not that good. Vernon Veil. Vale, do not take this. Five point two one. So yeah, you can use you, you can you can play around this um page. It let you know what augments to take, to pick depending on if you're at first, second, or third augment. To make it easier, like let's say it's all gold, you can do uh, what I like to do is like you can sort sort it by two one. Let's say the first augment's gold. You can just Take, untick the silver and prismatic. Now it's all gold. Now you do control F and you can find whatever augment you, you have. You can risk it richer. 4.89. Let's do like uh Arify. Down here is 5.06. And then let's do like Guild Crest. It moves up 3.81. And you can do that. That's like an easy way to do it. Now let's say it's prismatic. You can just do this. Think fast. Level up. Um, and then um evoker, whatever. 5.10. That's all I'm gonna talk about for this page. Pretty self-explanatory. The next page I like to use also is the team comps page. So you go to stats and go to team comps. This is a really good this is a really good page to let you know what comps are good in the meta. As you know, TFT patches like change the meta um, so much it's hard to keep up. Um, but if you use this page, it's kind of it's good to know which uh, comps are in meta and which comps are out of meta. So as you can see here, it's sorted by um, average placement. So it's sorted from a best average placement to the worst average placement. So it's basically like the best comps to the worst comps kind of. Um, so the best comp um, of this patch is going to be Guild Aoshin. So basically it's like um vertical guild with aoshin this is usually like a level nine comp so this is like a little bit fake but it averages a 4.01 so it's really good uh warrior yone and brahm 
you can see that uh you know playing yone reroll with the correct augment is really really strong um this is just like a full dragon board really strong um this is a new one here jade shiyou and siphon this is a 4.24 this comp used to be really really bad but now it's really now you can look at this and know that this comp is really really good so now you can like prioritize learning this comp or angling towards this comp. we should probably go to b patch here because this b patch kind of changed the meta a little bit and let's go to master plus Skill Dashin, same thing. JHOU, really good. Same thing, same thing. Um, apparently, Dragon Master Lee Sin is good. So if you have the Dragon Master angle, you can play Lee Sin reroll. Zaya is a 4.42. This comp used to be like a 4.1 last patch. So it is still playable, but it got um a little bit worse. You can tell by that. Um, Olaf is really good. Olaf is still really good. Mage Namzi, 4.47, still playable, but it got a little bit, it became a little bit lower than last patch. This is a new comp, Dragon Master Karma, 4.49. Um, Karma reroll. This is a new comp, right? So if you didn't know about this, and if you just looked at this website, you would know that this is a new comp, and you can try it out. Guild Deja. Um, as you can see, Lagoon Grave Seraphine. It's a 4.74. This comp used to be like a 4.1, 4.2. So now this comp got nerfed, so it became a little bit less uh, good, but you know, still playable. 4.7. Um, as you move down, Dark Flight Rengar Swain. This is a 5.10. This comp is. What I can tell from this comp is like it's generally not that good or it's either hard to play. But if you have the right augments, it should be really good. Stats honestly aren't everything. Like such as like this Rengar comp. I think this Rengar comp is so broken. But then why does it have a 5.10? I think it's because it's hard to play. And not a lot of people can play it correctly. It, it's like really, really augment dependent. right? So so like um, get into your games. You have a good sense of what's good and what's not. But you know, if you're just starting on a new patch and you start getting to TFT, you don't know what's good. You can look at this um, thing. The next thing I want to talk about is which augments are good for this comp which comps okay that's actually really important as you can see we view the augment stats here but this is just a general um i am um, like augment pick for like every single comp right but the this if you want to go more in depth um let's say you're playing jade shio you and siphon say you already committed to this comp and then your augment choices come up it's actually better to look augments through here so you go to details um you go to augments here and then you can you can search here so like an example is if let's say you got celestial blessing you can see that celestial blessing is a 3.8 3.7 3.5 if you search regular augments here Celestial Blessing is a 4.2, 4.2, 4.2 in, in this page, right? But if you search it through uh, this comp, it's significantly lower. So, so you know that Celestial Blessing is a good augment usually, but it's even better in this comp. That's how you can tell. So another example is like, let's, let's search like First Aid Kit, right? Like First Aid Kit is a 4.5, 4.5, 4.3. But if you search it in this comp, First Aid Kit is a 3.8, 3.9. It's significantly lower in this comp, right? So let's say you know you're playing Jade Shio Yu and, you're, and, you're, and you have a First Aid Kit as an option. Let's say you have like first aid kit here, and then like then the two other options have a lower average placement than first aid kit on this page. But if you search on this page, uh, first aid kit is actually better. Then um, you should probably take first aid if you're if you know you're already playing this comp. Does that make sense? So that's why this page is really really useful. It's even more useful than the other page if you know what comp you're playing already. So usually what I do is for the first augment, I usually use this page. But after the first augment, I probably know what I'm playing. So the second and third augment, I usually check this page. Uh, another thing to know is like augments you can do like let's say you do celestial blessing you can little you can hover over the average placement and it shows you the average placement from two one three two and four two you can also check this and see how good it is at three two and four two so there's like 3.85 3.86 next page i want to talk about is going to be the units page you can go to units here what's good about this page is um you can find out the bis for every uh for every unit but let's say you want to know like what items are good on shio you you can click on shio you here expand it with this button and then um over here it has all the items with the average placement and so i like to sort it by adjusted placement because i think it, it takes into play rate into account so adjusted placement as you can see here um death's defiance has like the best uh, average placement for shio yu so now you know that the, um next time if you're playing shio yu and you have the option to take portable forge and and there's death's defiance you take that shit. you know what i mean um if there's a radiant item radiant break of dawn is probably shio yu's best item you know gs is good eg hodge um edge of night so there's like a lot of items here. Um, what you can also do is click into this tab right here. It has item pairs and item trios. So it tells you what's basically what's BIS2 item, BIS3 item. We go to item pairs here. As you can see here, it's um, Edge of Night, um, Death's Defiance. Um, may maybe you don't want to look at like Prisma um, Radiant items or um, Augment items. So as you can see here, like Titans is good. Edge of Night is good. Hodge is really good. Uh, uh, apparently Runans is good and I didn't even know about this. So like Runans, Runans um, you is pretty good as well right so as you can see here healing item you can you can kind of see that hodge is probably better than bt right because hodge is way up here bt is like down here um titans is good as well let's go to item trios but item trio best item trio let's not let's ignore the radiant item you know uh titans gs death's defiance is probably good titans edge of, edge of night titans 
So looking at this, it seems that best in slot is going to be Titans plus Edge of Night plus Healing, ET or Hodge, right? So any combination of these three is good. Let's go ahead and go to another unit. Let's go to unit. Let's go to unit like um. Go to some here. Expand. Go to like item pair, like item trios. So best in slot. It looks like as you can just see from this graph, it's going to be blue buff plus like Morello plus one, right? So this is how you can tell what's like. A lot of people ask me like, oh, what's best in slot? This what's best in slot? This. You can just literally just check here and you can find out what best in slot is. You can go to Yone. Let's let's look at Yone best in slot. Um, item trios adjust in placement. Uh, best in slot. It looks like it's gonna be Swift Shot Crest or Ginsu Ginsu double Ginsu apparently, double Ginsu plus one. Um, Ginsu Hodge GS is really good. So like just generally looking at this this uh, page, you know best in slot is gonna be Ginsu GS plus one. I think that's mostly what I use for this uh, website. There's one last thing that I use. You go to info here, set info. The set info page gives you um the lagoon drop tables. You can have this open on the side to kind of and also memorize this. You have the astral tables for every how many star astros you have on your board. And you have Mirage uh, loot table for pirates. But I think that's it for Texas Out Tools. TLDR, Augment page, Unit page, Team Comps page. You kind of know what Augments are good generally, what comps are good in the meta, what Augments are good in those comps, and then what BIS items are for those units. And I hope this uh, video has helped you out. Um, obviously, obviously, a lot of people are against using Texas Out Tools, but um, you know, it's helped me for sure. I'm like a top player. It's, it's helped me. Uh, it's helped me as well. It's helped a lot of other top players. Of course, you still want to use your brain a little bit. Don't just pick the augments with the lowest average placement. Look at your board and look at your units. And then, but also use this data to kind of make the best decision. And uh, good luck with your climb, guys. Peace.